Lord for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Psalms, Psalm chapter 11, where in verse 7 we read that God is angry at sinners every day. Now we read Psalms a lot for encouragement, motivation. Encouragement is very important in our Christian walk, and we find a lot of that in the book of Psalms. But sometimes we read in the Bible things that are not so pleasant that we want to hear, but we need to hear. Psalm 11, verse 7, as I said, God is angry with sinners each and every day. Psalm 5, verse 5. Psalm 11, verse 5, basically tell us that God is angry at sinners all the time. Now, we don't like to hear these things sometimes, but they're necessary. Medicine sometimes doesn't taste good, but it has medicinal purposes. I take something called apple cider vinegar. It doesn't taste good but it's actually good for you. And sometimes the Bible has medicine for us that doesn't taste good, but in the end result, it is beneficial for us. The gospel is called the good news of Jesus Christ. That's what the word gospel means. But sometimes before we get to know the good news, we have to hear the bad news of who we are. Romans chapter five, verse eight tells us that we were enemies of God, but God showed his love for us that while we were still enemies of his, he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for us. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. The Bible basically tells us there that we were dead in our trespasses and sins, following the ways of this world, objects of God's wrath. However, we read in the next verse in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4, two of the most beautiful words you'll ever hear. But God, but God in his mercy saved us through Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior. We come to Christ as the good physician to heal us of our spiritual infirmity of sin. Recently, me and my wife were very sick. I had very bad muscle spasms in my lower back. My wife had the shingles. She had to go to the doctor for some medicine to cure the shingle virus. I went to the chiropractor to help straighten out my lower back and to feel better. But if I didn't realize my condition and go to the doctor, I would still be in a lot of pain with my back. My wife would have the shingles. It could lead to more problems. We go to an earthly doctor to get cured of physical temporary needs. We go to our Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ to be cured of our eternal needs. Jesus told us in Matthew chapter 9, verses 12 and 13, that the healthy do not need a doctor. It's the sick who need a doctor. He said, I did not come to call the righteous, but I've come to call sinners to repentance. We're told in the scriptures in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27, God chooses the weak things in this world. The weak are not so much the physically weak, the materialistically, financially weak, although many times that's the case. I believe the weak are those who see their need for Christ as their great physician. Oftentimes when you go to a funeral on the back of a mass card, it'll quote Matthew chapter five, verse four, where it says, blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. And you know, you read the shortest verse in the Bible, John chapter 11, verse 35. It says, Jesus wept at the grave of Lazarus's friend. And yes, we mourn over those who lost. We lose in a temporary sense in this world. But what Christ was really meaning there when we mourn it's those who mourn over their sins, those who are convicted of their sins. The Holy Spirit, we're told in John chapter 16, verse 8, by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, would convict us of sin. Those who are weak, those who mourn, those who are sick in the Bible, are those who see their need for Christ. Yes, we started this off with some discouraging words about how God is angry as, as sinners each and every day. Romans chapter 1, verses 18 to 32, we, we are told of how God is angry at sinners because they suppress the truth of God's word. They, they do what they think is right but is wrong. We're living in a day, I live here in America, where Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20 is being so clearly seen, where they will call, people will call things that are right wrong and wrong right. Everybody's doing what's right in their own eyes. You know, there's a scripture verse in Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12, that says that man thinks that he knows everything, everything is right in his own eyes, but the end result will be death. 
My friends, we do not know it all. I hope today's devotional video, I know um, I quoted some scripture verses which were not pleasant, but as I said, you know, when I was a young boy, we used to be given castor oil by our parents. Didn't taste good, tasted horrible, but it had medicinal purposes to cure and heal physical infirmities. And sometimes in life, spiritually speaking, we need to look in the Bible, you know, Today, you look at a lot of preachers on the TV, maybe even here on social media, and they'll tell you God wants you to be happy, peppy, and bursting in with love. Everything in life is going to be sugar, uh, peaches and cream with a little sugar on top. That is far from the truth. If you come to God in Jesus Christ, Jesus said, in this life, you will have many trials and tribulations, John 16, 33. But he said, be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. When you come to Christ, the storms do not stop, but he comes and holds our hand and raises us over the sea levels of the storms and takes us to a safe and eternal land one day. But the trials of this life will be there. Do not be discouraged. Do not be dismayed. God will never leave you nor forsake you. God bless you all, my brothers and sisters, this day. As I said, I quote the Bible a lot, and some of it is not pleasant, but we need to hear it. It's maybe not what we want to hear, but we need to hear. If you see this devotional video on YouTube, as God leads you, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube page. You see the YouTube, uh, subscribe button on the bottom. To all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ on Facebook, thank you again for sharing these devotionals to your friends, your pages, and groups as we co-labor together to get the Word of God out. And let us remember again, sometimes things are not pleasant that we hear, but we need to hear it. And let's remember this final promise in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 21. God made Jesus Christ to be sin for us. He knew no sin, but he became sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God. Take care.